Hey, what's up, Rockstars? This is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest. Today I'm working on Ashley by Green Day. And this song, well, the intro is a lot of power chords. So you want to start up on the uh, seventh fret for the fifth string. That's where you want to put your first finger and then build the power chord. So that would be your E power chord. You're going to use that one. Also, going to go two frets lower to get your D power chord. You're going to use that one also the G power chord. So this is up on the 10th fret, same strings. So you put those together like this, D, 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 G, D, G. And you get the intro, so that would be. It'd be a little bit faster than that, and you wanna go. And then after that, um, you do that a couple times. By the way, the intro is the same as the chorus. So you want to play those chords when you get to the chorus. Um, and then after that, for the verse, you only have basically a single note line um, to play. So uh, that line begins on the open E string. Then the third fret. And that's the... Uh, fifth string, fifth fret, and the open fifth string. So all together it's like... Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing and change it a little bit at the end. You wanna do... That would be the second fret on the fifth string, so the open string. And then after that, Go back to the first melody I had. Open A, and then you go back and repeat it and change it a little bit at the end. You know, it's a new pattern. So this time, the very last time, you want to go. And I believe there's an extra bar there at the end. So the note that I'm adding to this repetition is I'm going up to the 5th string 7th fret. I play E, and I'm also playing the open E string. Gives it kind of a bigger sound. So uh, that would be the verse and the intro. And then the next part would be the pre-chorus. Check it out. Pre-chorus uses power chords. You start with the C power chord on the fifth string, third fret. Bar that, and then you go to G down a string, and then you go to the D power chord. I'm using the open D power chord. I think that sounds a, a whole lot fatter than the D power chord up here. By the way, this is my favorite chord to play on a Les Paul. Um, anyway, so bar that, and then you have a bar of the E power chord, okay? So, all together it's like... You do it three times, just like I just played it. And then you're going to play it a fourth time, but it changed the last two bars, okay? So you start with C and then G. And then instead of going to D, you want to go to the B power chord. And you have two bars of that. Then after that, you, go, you jump right into the chorus, which is, uses the same um, guitar riff as the intro, okay? Pretty simple. The bridge is pretty easy. Um, it uses the intro riff power chords. Um, if you're the rhythm guitar player, you just play the. Uh, that part, you know, for the entirety of the solo. And then if you're the lead 
player, your part is also pretty easy. Um, uh, basically, uh, you can play this on the third string or the second string. Uh, those would probably be the options that I would use. Um, and you can just use one string the whole time if you want. So it's a single note line. Wow, I just put my uh, string out of tune there. So maybe you want to do that on a second string. Uh, we got basically I'm just it's basically the same melody as the intro. It's just on a different string or and one string at that. So I'm using the fifth fret, uh, third fret, back to the fifth, and then you can go up to the uh, eighth fret. And then you could, if you want, use the seventh fret on the D string. Sorry, on the G string. That would be the note D. And then go back to the second string, eighth fret. And then I'm going up to the tenth fret and bending up to the pitch that you hear at the twelfth fret on the same string. Okay. So it's important that, well. In, in, in this case, it's not so important that your bend be accurate because you got to shake it a lot. In fact, I think he's probably playing this on this Gretsch guitar that has the Bigsby um, vibrato on it. If you don't have one of those, you just got to bend it up and shake it a lot. Um, man, I wish I had a Gretsch. It's, there's one guitar I don't have. But uh, you put them together, you get... And you just play that four times. That's the whole solo. Then after that, you got some uh, some power chords to play. Um, it's, uh, it's G, E, G, E, and then C, G, and then two bars of A. So all together, it sounds like. And then after that, you got the verse, pre-chorus, and the outro, and that should be the end of the song. So, hope you liked that. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope to hear from you soon. I'm Alex Bowen, saying cheers.